Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we took on... We got the... We got... We took on... Gonzap again. But I will always call him Hayachi because to me he reminded me... He looked like Hayachi when I first called... When I first played this game, therefore he shall be forever known as Hayachi to me. Anyway, we caught 46 Pokemon. We got two more left to go because there is 48. Now, of course, if you notice, like, Pokemon with it, I want you to keep in mind here something. And also, uh, and also in the last episode, I made a very bad pun, and I really shouldn't have done that. That was my, that was my bad on that one. However, it seems that it, there is another Colosseum we never knew about, known as the Deep Colosseum. So that means we need to challenge all the Cypher Admins. Of course, we all know the Cypher Admins have their... This will be the third time we can challenge the Cypher Admins, just in case you didn't snag their Shadow Pokemon the, fir the first two times. Lucky enough, I did catch Raikou on my second attempt at the rematch at Regalum Tower. Regalum Tower, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, so we got information about an inglorious golden bastard, bastard here. So let's take on the challenge and enter the Pokemon we have. Which I have not actually... Which, to be honest, I have not actually gotten any Pokemon. And there's only one admin we have not seen with a different Pokemon, which is Ayn. I was planning on skipping all this, but then again, there's one problem. And it's already the first challenge. It's the first challenge. Dwig, you're real good, real good. You have to get good, have to get good to be here. Hunter Dwig. You realize your name's one letter off of me, Twig, right? Nuzleaf and Zangoose. Okay, a normal type, level 60, and... Looks like Nuzleaf is also level 60, so let's send out our bug type fighting type. Our bug fighting type and our fire type. Just to make things clean. Of course... Hair. <laughs> oh, this is gonna wreck shit. Though it would also wreck Hellfire in the process, so let's not do that. Let's go for a Brick Break. And I'll use Flamethrower on Nuzleaf. Of course it knows Spike Out. Why wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh well, if I do kill the Zangoose, that's not a problem for me. Zangoose has got really good good physical stats, surprisingly. But its defensive stats kind of where it falls flat, unfortunately. Good night, Zangoose. Good job. You suck. Actually, it's pretty good if you know what you're doing, actually. Tropius! Okay, I think I might want to swap targets on the fire on the flamethrower here. Let's use a Megahorn on the Tropius. A, a, a Megahorn on the Tropius? That's just going to do no more damage. I mean, do Megahorn on the Nuzleaf for the quadruple damage. Actually, now I think about it, I keep forgetting the stab bonus, which does, 100, which does another 1.5 times damage. I keep forgetting that. But let's use a flamethrower on Tropius doing a simple, I guess, a little over three times damage. Almost four, but not enough. I don't know. I say three times damage. That's the only thing I can come up with here. 3.5, three. I say three times damage due to it being super effective. Let's see if Megahorn hits, and it does for six for six times weak for six times damage. Rock Hall for three for triple weakness times 1.5. Four, two, eh, close enough. Yeah, yeah, it is six. Five, five times four, twenty. One, four times one, four. Yeah, six, six times damage. You're real. You are good, like real good. I should be, cause I just wiped the floor with you, and this is just only like four minutes in the video. Oh, I'm crying out loud. Why not? Coliseum Battle Two. You're gutsy to come this deep underground, dude. At you have no idea how many Pokemon games I have played. I know how things... You will forget, I play Mitch Dungeon. I know how sh deep shit can get. Trust me. Ooh, it's not a bad... Not a bad pick. Typhlosion. Ooh, fire type. Now that's gonna hurt Heracross a bit. However, actually that is a bad, because Heracross is slower than my Typhlosion. Well, let's swap it out for a Pokemon that has some resistance to that fire. Let's go for the, yeah, let's go for the Pokemon that actually knows Surf. Go Dr. Dirt. And we'll just use it, we'll use a Flamethrower on the Vigoroth. 
Bergeroth is actually a free... In my opinion, one of the... The only... is technically the only Pokemon I would consider using out of this... Out of the, um... Oh, no, it's Endure. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, out of the... Out of the, uh... What was it? Slack offline that I would probably use? I would never use a Slacking, unless I tr Unless it's, like, double battles. Like, or... Oh, he knows type. Oh, he also knows Earthquake. Oh, well, damn. That makes two of us who have a t Pokemon that knows Flame. Well, of course, it endured the hit. I may have to swap out Hellfire if it doesn't survive the next hit. Actually, looking at it now, it just did survive that hit. So let's throw in a Surf and hope to God and hope to God <laughs> that Doctor Derp gets the Quick Claw. Good job, mate. Gonna kill that Vigoroth for having one HP. Actually, that's a good move in case you're about to faint from Earthquake using Dirt. It's not gonna do much. That's not gonna do a good amount of damage to that type of because type of is especially defensive. And Doctor Dirt's level 51 anyway, so it's not gonna do much for me here. Hariyama. Oh, and it has Thick Fat for the ability as well. That's gonna be a problem. Because uh, oh, or not. If it uses Earthquake, it's an idiot. And he gets Flame Wheel. That's actually a smarter move, but regardless, all of my Pokemon have a resistance to fire. Alright, out time, Sue. You're basically not going to do much. Let's use a Flamethrower that hurry up. But he uses Endure anyway. Oh well. Flamethrower. If it burns, I'm going to laugh. Sure, you endure it, but if you get burned, that's going to be the end of you. Ah, uh, which doesn't. Ah, Earthquake, this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, Hariyama still lives because of Endure. Typhlosion. Oh, the Invisible Focus Band! Get him, Dirt. Well, of course you're gonna live, Hariyama. We're not stupid. Of course, you're also gonna live. I think it's about time we go for yet another Surf and actually swap out Hellfire for a different Pokemon. Go Diaz! So, Flygon. Since it does have a resistance to fire moves, its defense may not be all that great, but it's worth something. It's not gonna do much, but we had to swap it out, otherwise Typhlosion was going to die. To a Typhlosion. How ironic. Reversal. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Reversal does more damage the less health you have. And that basically seals the deal. I hate to be hate hate doing this, but it looks like I gotta go gung ho. I'm gonna send out fire hellfire once more with that one HP. Oh god, I can already see myself being an idiot right now. Let's use fire blast on <laughs> Typhlosion, no less. And let's use crunch. Eh, it wouldn't matter. Let's, yeah, let's just use crunch on Hariyama. We're faster, and we do hit that hit that Typhlosion, and he kills. Feels like my type lotion was the better lotion. Was the better. <laughs> nice. Was the better. Now oh, for your Hariyama. I didn't. Hey, you're gone. Hariyama fainted. That should be your last hit of your team. And next is the semifinals. I hope. Right, oh, grew to level 56. That's good. That means you're one step closer to getting rid of that fucking, fucking experience share you're holding. Palin. That sounds, like, that sounds like a really awkward substitute for Caitlyn. Semifinals. You get here by UFO or something? I dump my way down here myself, by myself. Okay, sure. Worker Tollway. As a giraffe rig and a hound door. Hmm, I like your choice. Giraffe rig, huh? I'm gonna sit on my bug. Actually, now that I think about it, its pronunciation is hound dower. I've always called it hound door when I first saw it when I played gold. When I played gold and old and soul silver, I never knew that da that that Pokemon's pronunciation for the life of me. To be honest, using Megahorn would be a better idea considering Giraffe Rig, but I'm gonna use Brick Rig on that Hound Dower. And I'm gonna rit, do, make a big risk here and throw a Fire Blast at that Giraffe Rig. 
And it's got mirror coat. Uh, what does it do? I don't remember all that well. I still think it does something with status move, so... It should, and it connected and killed Drapery. Ironically enough, it's the only Pokemon that can actually spell it, you can, it which is Drapery backwards, as it is fours. Lady in! Level 63, Bug Flying. Yeah, I like that's going to do anything for me. How the words, which is kind of a, a big problem here, because, uh... Hashel here is Bug Fighting, and of course it's Weekend Inspire. Doi. I was gonna experience this good Dodrio. Ooh. I'm actually more worried about that Dodrio. Uh, let's go for a Hyper Beam on that Lydian. I really don't like using the Hyper Beam, but eh. is there what I got? It, it could be worse. Is there his move set? It could be worse. Let's flamethrower that Dodrio, and Dodrio goes down without a hint. Okay, Rival gains a thousand experience, use Hyper Beam, and it hits. See, and does it kill? It does kill. Good job. We didn't waste a turn for jack shit. Good. Last thing I want is to waste a turn for nothing. Rival gains more experience, it's good for me. We have now gotten to the finals of the D Coliseum. Damn, I'm too tired from my dig from all my digging. Actually, there's one thing I want to mention. But I'm gonna do it as soon as we get to the finals. Let's see, who is the, our final opponent? Wait, I know that golden suit anywhere. It's Meyer B! The infamous glowing. Glo glo the infamous. Ho 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 ho. We need to again. You're not escaping my route this time. Play that fucking music! Once more! Cypher M and Meyer B would like to battle. Ludicolo, Ludicolo. Hello. I'm sorry. This dude, to be honest, I think I mentioned this in one video before, but I can't actually understand. You gotta understand, when I first played this, I really didn't know what to think of Fire B. As a bad guy, he sucks. As a character, he is awesome. Now, why did I say as a bad guy he sucks? Because to me, he doesn't look like one. As a character overall, he looks pretty damn awesome. Okay, to be honest, enough of that. Let's actually kill one of those looted colos. Actually, there's one thing I always wanted to know about. I actually want to tell you right now. Okay, you're wasting your turn using X defense on your looted colos. That is shit. But anyway, while we're talking about my RV, there's one thing I wanted to know. Is there any backstory on this dude? If there is any backstory, somebody make a fan game on it, on it or something. Because I would like to actually see how that would work. Um... How that would work in terms of like, I want to see how we became a Cypher Admin. I'm pretty sure there's like a manga or something involving that, but I really like want to see it in game form. Not only that, there's a sequel to this game known as Pokemon XD Gel of Darkness, as if that wasn't obvious, but which Myra B is also in. And um, the one thing I wanted to know is that if, if there was going to be another game, because another game, and I did watch another LP, I did watch an LP of that just. Just because I want to see where the game goes afterwards, anyway. After Coliseum. Uh, as it turns out, there's supposed to be more, and it just never seemed to seem came into fruition, unfortunately. Which, I'm gonna have to say, that's a little sad, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to see where they were going with it. Uh, oh well. At the end of, as far as I saw at the end of uh, XD, it seems like it wasn't going to be the end of Cypher. I mean, for crying out loud, we already know it's not the end of Cypher in this game. It's basically blatantly obvious. I won't get XD, but I will say this. If there happens to be a sequel to XD Gale of Darkness, and it happens to be on the 3DS, you can bet your ass I'm wanting to get it. It's, especially if Fire Beast in there. Fire B would be a part of, it would be awesome. Awesome. Actually, I'd rather have them be like a character we can actually pick. It can play as, to be honest. Because, again, I want to use the Ludicolos. Okay, let's see. This last one's Armadillo. Armaldo, I mean. Oh, shit. I need to. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Armaldo. Bug Rock type. Oh, well, this is odd. Break Break does normal damage. Earthquake does normal damage. Hyper Beam only does half. Mega Horn also does half. Maybe one fourth. That sucks. Yeah, I guess we gotta break break it. 
because I don't want to kill Typhlosion with an earthquake for no reason. Unfortunately, this infamous glow, this infamous gold dancing bastard has to go down. I actually do like this character though; he's pretty cool. The one thing I really want to see happen is like, for, I don't know. I, I really, I like after Wes and, and the main character next, Steve Michael. I kind of want to see them make a return in like a sequel as Ru as well as Rui, to be honest. After that, was it Lost in Thunder? I don't have Rain Dance. Uh, yeah, let's just get. Yeah, I'd rather have Rain Dance to be honest before having Thunder. So no, we're good. Stop learning Thunder. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the one thing I wanted to want to see is if they, uh. Will uh, Wes continue his adventure, which is the main character? Oh, no, no, no. My temple is off of me. This will not do at all. Well, we defeated the Cypher Admin Meyer B. Once again, the inglorious golden dancing bastard. And, of course, we get a TM for beating him, of course. After getting 20,000 Poke Dollars. TM 12. What is that exactly? I'm not exactly... Okay, apparently we got an email in the process, but okay, whatever. Slut? No, wait, taunt? No! <laughs> Actually, what is this anyway? We got, a meet. we got an email, let's check that out. Deep, who is Deep King? This is Ned, I heard you've gone to the Deep Coliseum. I heard a rumor about it. There's supposedly to be a seriously tough trainer who goes by the name of Deep King. I wonder what Pokemon he uses. Well, assuming he has a shadow, but I'm gonna assume he has a shadow shuckle. I don't know. Oh wait, did we not know what that about Pokemon is? Uh. Oh well. I I'm just gonna say that probably. I mean, it's possible. I mean, I mean, what what else could it be? I mean, like Johto Pokemon. Think about it. Shuckle's a Johto Pokemon. It would make perfect sense. Let's get this. Ooh la la! You must be the skilled other. Must be skilled, otherwise you wouldn't have come here. And indeed, I am skilled. Straight performer, Regal. Jump up and Sneasel. You could have picked a better two. You could have picked better Pokemon. Then again, Jump Up does no Chlorophyll. How do I know this? Because Chlorophyll. I have a Jump Up that has the ability Chlorophyll. So if it's a sunny day, we're probably screwed. But never fear, my Pokemon type lotion shall outspeed it. <laughs> That's great, great. That's knee silver. Six times damage. I keep, I keep forgetting about what stab does. Wait, why am I using flame thrower on the sneasel? I'm already using brick break. Shit. I'm probably gonna kill the sneasel with a flame thrower. Oh gosh. Oh, oh it's using fake out. Who's it on? Oh well. Well, thank you. I, I made a stupid choice, and you made me fix that. Thank you. And take a this critical hit. That must be like 12 times damage right there or something. Maybe 8. I don't know. Yeah, we have to. Oh, fuck me. It better not know explosion. Okay, change of plans. Uh, we gotta change of plans here. I'm gonna have to hyper beam that, that jump up, and I gotta take out that electrode. Yeah, you can use helping hand all you fucking want. I don't care. You gotta get rid of that electrode. Okay, okay. Because I'm already afraid of explosion. Granted, I already have four Pokemon anyway, but still. That would be just like... I know it would be giving the match a shit. Uh, well... Eh, actually, no, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. I don't care. Hyper Beam! A boom! Critical hit! Just... Damn. To be fair, uh, giving Hashel Hyper Beams it actually is slightly broken, I'll admit, due to the fact it's physical in this game, not special, like, until Gen 4, until, and on, until, until Gen 4 and onward. But still, giving a Heracross a Hyper Beam? Damn. I mean, granted, I mean, just imagine with it being afflicted with static, though. Damn, that's, again, over either, it's either exactly 300 or a little over 200. Ooh, that, that, 
it's not any wonder how you come down here. I think now that it, uh, I think we're gonna fight the admins in order, so, Mirror B, uh, Venice, or maybe is it Doc, it's probably Doc in first, then Venice, then, I, then I, and this Deep King trainer. It's an old man. I'd go anywhere if that's what needs to make a Coliseum challenge. A fun old man, Gorbel. Go okay. Gorbel? Deli Burton. Deli Burton, Marsh Tom. Marsh Tom. Deli Burton sucks ass, dude. Get a better Pokemon. <laughs> You're really? I'm not, I'm not exaggerating saying that because Deli Burton only has, like, present as its main move, and all it does is, and it has like, granted it's got like 40% chance of doing damage, it has 40% doing more damage than that other 40%, and it has a simple 20% chance of giving you heat, healing your Pokemon when using present. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Um, unless you're somehow able to get, make a Deli Bird good, which is hard, I'll admit. It, but I would, which probably would be hard. Siri, Deli Bird does suck anyway, because it knows present. And just right off the bat. And anyway. Whalerin! Walrin, Whalerin. At this point, I don't care. I'm using Mega Horn. Uh, Kittles! Good job. Good job. Now, this uh, Walrin should only take normal damage, even with stab, even with the 1.5 stab times. It's not going to do much anyway, so I'm going to use Brick Break. Well, let's use Flamethrower. I mean, right now, Hellfire's just, like, getting ready to go to level 70 right here. Right here. And, of course, due to Thick Fat, it has that H. Thick Fat, it's going to resist it a little bit. And take this Brick Break to the face. And it's down for the count. Anyway. I mean... Like, really? I mean, like, out of all the Shadow Pokemon we come across, the only ones that we haven't found are probably already in Fire Red to begin with. So, it is possible to say that Shogo is probably going to be the next Shadow Pokemon. I mean, just saying. Why not? It, it would make sense, would it not? Semi-finals. My Pokemon love the battle. Lobert. There's only one letter off from being Robert. 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 Raw, or Robert, or whatever. Azumarill! Oh, shit. Ooh, I did not think this went through. Uh, I think he has four Pokemon. I'm at, don't count me on that. 20 minutes in, that's fine. He had four Pokemon, so... I don't want to risk using a Mega Horn. I'm not a Mega Horn, a Hyper Beam on Azumarill, because that, that's just a waste of turn right there. And I'm just going to use... Yeah, let's use Flamethrower in that Mini Champ. Take it east. I don't know where lot where its defenses lie, but apparently with that crit, it lies in none. Well, probably none in special, probably. Lanoon! Or Lanoon, as I called it for some reason. I'm just gonna call it. I don't care. Ah, oh, shit. So, to be honest, I was expecting a water move, but okay, fine. Anyway, Lidoon, okay, you're a normal type, you don't have much. Azumarill, I'm assuming it has, like, either huge power or freaking thick, uh, I, I would say huge power, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it gets huge power in this generation, which is three, third gen. But regardless, I'm going to use Mega Horn once more. We may fail it once, but who's to say we can't, but I'm positive we won't fail twice. If we fail twice, I have bad luck. I mean, for crying out loud, I had worse luck with a fire blast. How bad? Okay, Hellfire, level 68, nice. Keep growing, dude. Zantu! Alright, it hit this time. It... Oh, it's gonna kill itself with double edge, probably. But... This? Why? You would give up half of your health. If I let you go first, you would have been killed. You know that, right? And she's fire blast on that Zantu, and a miss. Shit. But anyway, that Azuma really is down for the count. 
I'm positive the next one we fight is Dakum. Dakum, not Dakum. Aerial Ace, oh, that's gonna hurt. Hurt Hashel majorly for being. Why? Oh, damn, dude! I, that was. That was. That was downright beautiful, Heracross. That was beautiful. Actually, let's not go for another Fire Blast because. Accuracy wise, let's just use the Flamethrower. And that kills it, so my move for Heracross is pointless. Oh well, victory for me. Good night. I mean, at this point, it's a process of elimination. We got most of the Pokemon that are Shadow Pokemon are Johto Pokemon, so. Why not? <laughs> Lobert, I'm sorry, my Pokemon! But seriously, I, 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 to be honest, I, I don't know what the last one is. To be honest, shout out Pokemon. Die! Nah, you again, I'll crush you. Cypher Admin Daku, who like to battle. He basically has the same team last time, he has Houndoom. <laughs> Clay Doll and Flyka, oh shit. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I feel pain and misery right now. I don't like it. Let's get rid of that clay doll with a mega horn. And we'll use Fire Blast on the Flygon. Wasting turns for accuracy? Oh, these admins are just becoming stupid. Just die. Oh, shit. Super effective, and it killed the clay doll. Good job. Your X actually was useless. <laughs> All right. Right against Soul Rock. Rock Psychic. Nice. And of course, both of them have Levitate. How? How quaint. I do this would do normal damage. Let's use a fire blast and see where we go from here. Okay, how much damage is this gonna do? Is it gonna be enough? And it's not! Damn it! I thought it was gonna be enough, but it isn't! Oh shit. Flygon is officially the second fastest Pokemon on the field at this point in time. Ash was not gonna take much for being a bug type. Of course, Levitate. Why wouldn't it? It. Barely hanging on. I commend your efforts, Typhlosion. You're a badass. Oh! Oh, did, does the rock type not negate the bug type thing? Well, damn, Hashem just took out two Pokemon in one, in one shot. Well, damn. Good job. Oh, fuck. Actually, he does have one difference. He has a Swampert. Oh, damn it. Let's take care of that, shall we? I mean, I can just take care of the Flygon with a Fire and Thor. No, I used Dig! That's gonna hurt. Oh, I made a big mistake. I made an uh, oh shit. What? You crit your swampert? Wow! I thought I had bad luck. You're fucking how worse. You crit made your own swampert, you dumb fuck. You know what? You wanna fight Diaz? I'll fight Diaz. You wanna, oh, you wanna fight Flygon? I'll give you a Flygon. His name is Diaz, and he's actually level under, a level under, unfortunately. Uh, Take that Swampert out! Ugh, I was such an idiot. There goes my fastest Pokemon on my team. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn it. Houndoom! Level 65. Nice. Dark Fire type. Once again, like Houndour. We can get to Brick Break. <laughs> Let's use Dragon Breath on that. Oh, goody. Yeah, you realize I do have a Dragon type move, right? And if I paralyze you, that's gonna be doubly good for me. Yeah. Take that, dipshit. Oh, that is double good for me! Hells to the yeah, mate! Take this. That Houndoom is down for good. Because I'm never gonna battle Dockham again. Dude is getting wrecked. Let me use another Dragon Breath just to add the insult to entry. That my Flygon is better than yours, apparently. Oh, it's a female! I didn't notice that! I, I just noticed that it's a female. Well, wow, interesting. Okay, fair enough. Actually, I ran thing about it. It's my entire team's actually considered 
full of males. I think there's not even a single female on my team. This cannot be. The mighty Dokkum loses again. Yeah, lose, yeah, you lose again, Dokkum. I don't consider you mighty at all. And we're 30 minutes in. Shit. Well, I want to actually... Actually, we're almost done to begin with, actually. There's only, like, one more. Champion, please set cash up over 2,000 Poké Dollars. Actually, almost 21,000 Poké Dollars to be set. Fantan48. What is that? Is that Swagger? Oh, we got our message. Message. What is that? That, that is Skill Swap. You realize that would have been good if I had a slacking, right? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little pissed, because I got skill swap. What the hell, man? Okay, what do we got? Is there more info on the Deep King? As he's called him. Deep King! Slow, but slowly, he does sound like a tree art. And I was like, a nice portrayer, though. I wonder what kind of Pokemon he uses. I'm, again, as I guess, like, it's like two Shadow Pokemon. I'm pretty sure this Deep dude know, has, like, a Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, let's enter one more. Let's, let's continue entering. Why not? We're almost done with this fucking game. Hey, well, for me, it, we're almost done because there's only like, two Shadow Pokemon to catch. And I got the Master Ball Glit. I got the Infinite Master Ball. Let's get these. Whoa, yeah, I'll show you a battle with power. Yeah, you're going to show me a battle with power. Good God. Uh, what the hell is wrong with these people? Machop and Machoke. You know, this would have been a great idea to send out Sifra right now, but I didn't. Because Hashel's up in the front and it's gaining experience. Actually, to be honest, I think I really should have. But anyway, let's take care of that Machoke and let's take care of that Machop. Machop's not exactly the most threatening thing on the field, but I decided to take it out with a flamethrower. Why not? I mean, all my Pokemon get recovered at the end. Anyway, at the end of the battle, why not? Ursaring! Oh, now that's actually threatening. Yeah, physical stats anyway. Oh, it didn't die. Ah, shit. And just slapping it. So, oh, come on. He was using it on Ursaring. It probably has gut. Oh, probably. Wait, why was it using Toxic on. Did it have guts or something? It must have guts. Wait, with that in mind, he does have a more type. Alright, let's use a flame. And what type? We're gonna use Brick Break on Nursery and use Flame Thorn on the Machoke. Right? That Machoke is Fry Crisp. Crispy Fry. Fry Crispy. Brick Break. I don't know if we're actually gonna finish this in one video because I don't, I don't think we can finish it in one video. I don't think we could. But anyway, that Earth Ring is down for the count. Let's continue on. Uh-huh. I forgot to focus on winning. Yeah, whatever. Battle number two! Did you really come all this way down here just so you can lose? No, I came down here to win, Chateau. Rabble, oh, oh, and a whale -more. Oh, it's not a whale -more, but it's a whale -more. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Whatever. I don't, oh, four Pokemon. But still, Graveler, we can get the Brick Break. Yes, use it. Let's, let's use Fire Blast on that whale -more. Oh, it hits. Interesting. Let's see what happens. It does not faint as I thought it wouldn't, but damn, that did a lot more damage than I thought. Take this. I should kill. Oh, it just barely lived. It double team. Yeah, that would be nice if you were going first, but you worked. Sure. It's a fit. Oh my god. Help me. Break, break. Flamethrower. Die, die. That Wilmer is down. Right, we'll go to level 59. Now we can get rid of that experience share on it. We get a top. Ooh, it's up. Oh no, it's a wheelie top. We get a top. 
And that grappler is down. So we got a wiggly tough to fight. What else do we have? Have to fight. A dawn fit. Ooh. Ooh, that's bulky. Department's bulky. How unfortunate. Anyway, Riley was down level 59. He's like already near level 60, so that's good. That, that Wiggly Tough stood no chance. Bring it in, Tough. Bring it in, Tough. Yeah, that Wiggly Tough stood no chance against Hashel. On to the semifinals. I see you're good enough to get down here. Why wouldn't I? It would be weird if I did, wasn't. Semi-final. I simply am not about to lose. So, though, you're a scientist. Well, you're about to, my friend. You stand no chance against me. Especially if you spin out a spin, if you send out a spin, a drunk spinda. If you send out a drunk Pokemon that is spinda. It seems weird that he called spend it as drunk, but to be honest, how else would you describe its movements? As if it was drinking. If it was... Look, it looks like it's drunk. How else would you explain it? How else would you explain it? Because I... You just flame throwing that Del Caddy. He actually using physical moves is not a problem it's because it's a male, so Q Charm is not going to affect any of my Pokemon because it's the oh, whole entire team's male. I'm going with Bramble. Ah, Intimidate, I bet. Shit. Okay, this is going to weaken Brick Break a little bit. We should kill Spinda. Bye-bye, Spinda. Oh. oh, you only have one Pokemon left. Oh, cool. Die. So, yeah, I think it shouldn't kill. I don't think it's kill. No, it didn't. <laughs> what? Well, that didn't really make much of a difference because everyone's going to get break break. Just, well, just, I mean, just, damn. Really, just damn. <laughs> Come on now. The burn was actually unnecessary. I think it was just more than, more than, more than enough. I think Brubay was just more than I don't believe this happened. Believe it! As Naruto would say. Yeah, I have not played any of the Ultimate Ninja games lately. Anyway, time for Venice. Oh, no, not you again. You're an annoying... Pers annoying persistent? Uh, you mean pest. An annoying pest. Blissey. And dust flops. Blissey, you have no defense. You, all, the only thing good about you is your HP and special defense. You suck. <laughs> okay, the one thing I forgot about the belt Pokemon is that those type Pokemon are actually actually resistant against bug types. I uh, oh my god, I, I just realized that now. Oh crap. I just realized that now. Crap. Let's get rid of that dust clouds with a fire blast. Hopefully it's enough Shit! Damn it. Well, take it down! That Blissey stand, no chance. Level 63, nice. I'll fire 888. Oh, little, oh almost 2,000 experience for Raichu. Raichu! Yeah, that's a speedy little bastard, I'll admit that. It's using the fuse rail. What fuck? Ah, good choice, my explosion. The evolution is a good choice for you to pick, madam. Because it is fast, and it is that of bulk. Well, not bulk, but rather it's just fast and very, very powerful in the special defense. Ah, shit. Special attack, I mean, not defense. Why did I say that? Thunder Wave! Oh, no, we're going to get Parafusion in this bitch. Oh, the stupid bitch used Thunder Wave on fucking Hashel. Oh, that's going to be good for me. Does that mean Tashel's going to start doing more damage? 
And remember what I said about Hyper Beam being really a high-powered move? Yeah, Gus just basically doubled its power now. Oh, man. Oh, my God, you're an idiot. Ooh, Meganium, that's a female. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, well, let's use a Mega Horn of that Meganium. And use a Flamethrower that right you. Come on, you got this Typhlosion. Ah, hell yeah. Baka you! And that right you goes down. Unfortunately, it did get a Thunder Wave off, but fortunately enough, it was, well, Heracross that actually got hit with it. And of course, we all know Heracross has the ability Guts, meaning War Power. It's just even trapped. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that much. Oh, shit! No! Paratract, damn it. That's one combo I don't want. You know, I'm gonna hyper beam that fucking Milotic. <laughs> And fled through that Meganium. Oh, good job. Get the hell. Time to get that Meganium out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Critical hit. Overkill much type flourish. That is unnecessary. But fair enough. Although I do got a feeling this is going to hurt type flourish. Right, it was now level 60. Hydro Pump. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Well, I know what I'm going to do. Let's try that again. I'm not risking getting a hit Hydro Pump. You stick. <laughs> you stick. Uh, I guess right. Oh, oh, here comes the ultimate power. Hyper Beam! That is a Guts Hyper Beam, ladies and gentlemen. That is powerful. I swear, if I get another Hyper Beam off with you, you're dead, you know that, right? <laughs> And of course, Hashel has to recharge after that. And eh, not biggie. And considering Hyper Beam is my most powerful move, and I am confident that it will kill Milotic if it does hit, I'm gonna use Dig again. It does hit and is not paraly paralyzed. I'm good. Yeah, you keep attacking Typhlosion. I got that, that's the reason why I cape Dig for a reason. Take this! And it's down. Good night, Milotic. Again, Typhlosion, awesome, man. Freaking, t just having Heracross with, hey, how dare you, how dare you. you. You said I was persistent. That's not an insult, actually. That's actually a compliment to me. I like being persistent. Shows you I have, I have determination to complete my challenges. Congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously. Accept your cash prize of 22,000 Poké Dollars. And this video device, please tap this TM44. What is TM44? And we got another PDA message. Shot. Rest. Yeah, sure. Just let me just put it on a Pokemon that I have that knows the that knows the move Slate Talk. Yeah, th just let me do that. Okay, what's the next email? This is probably another thing about the Big King. I was correct. The Shadow Shuckle. It could be very tenacious. That means we got one more admin to face, and we haven't exactly seen this last Pokemon. Now, with that in mind, we're going to remove... We're going to deposit the experience share for Ryo, and give Dr. Derp the experience share. Which is all the way the fuck down here. Along with the amulet coin. Yeah. And to be fair, I do want to put Diaz up in the front, considering his he does have an electric Pokemon, and he does revolve around the Rain Dance Thunder strategy. So, so I'm going to put Diaz for immunity purposes. And I, I mean, like, I will still have a we'll have an electric Pokemon as his last Pokemon, his fifth one, obviously. So what replaces is Raikou. I've actually looked that up. His the Pokemon that replaces is Raikou is Mantrite. I heard some kind of death. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't read it. Sorry. Druk. Nuzleaf and Butifly. Well, this could turn out. Actually, this could come. This actually could have come out worse. I mean, well, Hashley is quad weak against flying, unfortunately, and that. And that. And if that Butifly does know any uh, flying type moves, that is going to be quite the problem. Brick break. Let's use uh, Iron Tail, considering it, it flight on strongest stat would be that, but let's go for Dragon Breath due to it holding the 
uh, Dragon Fang. It would do more damage, also plus stab. That's pretty good. Make a horn, come on. Ah, miss. Damn it. Sunny day. I think Nuzleaf has chlorophyll. I'm not sure. Don't count me on that. Oh my god. It used sunny day after Beautify. Use sunny day. Oh, we know solar beam. One turn solar beams. This is gonna fucking hurt. Oh, well. I guess it didn't hurt Diaz all that much. Let's use that dragon breath to take down that Beautify. And Beautify goes down. Good night. This guy expecting like another Pokemon trainer that uses three Pokemon. Oh, full beat. Come on. There we go. That Mechahorn's gonna do time six damage to that Nuzleaf for being a bug type. For my Pokemon being a bug type and Nuzleaf being a dark grass. Ass. Yes. Jump off! Okay. Which is the bigger threat here? I think that jump up with chlorophyll is. Sure, let's go for the hyper beam of a Bulby. <laughs> no, let's use a let's use a hyper beam on the jump up. Then we'll use Iron Tail, which is actually Flygon's strongest stat is physical. Use Solar Beam. If I recall correctly, jump up doesn't have like isn't that great in terms of special defense. Ah, uh, god damn it! Use that. Ah, shit. That was powerful. Ah, oh, that bull beat survived. Damn it. It's defense spell, that's good. It, well, to a degree it is. But still, this is gonna hurt. Jump Flop is dead. Well, fainted. I keep I keep saying dead because why not? I mean they're about to move signal beam! And it's gonna shake its ass at us to attack. Nice. Uh, of course you go down the ass. Why wouldn't you? And you were technically my only Pokemon that had the ability to levitate. Shit. Well, we get to show up. Well, let's sit out Super. Come on, buddy. Uh, let's use Psychic, because Super is fast. Not faster than Jolteon, mind you, but it's still pretty fast. That's, it's the second fastest EV evolution, if I recall correctly. Okay, that's one trainer down for I. What? I lost? This is a major problem. And of course, each calls him battles around about four, four anyway, so we're, we're good. Battle number two. Were you surprised to see a kid it like me down here? Not really. Adult. You are adult. Not adult, but adult. Octillery and Lyron. Guess what my hair across knows, you bastard? He knows earthquakes. You know what that means, right? Of course you don't. I can use it due to Flygon. Flygon has an ability called Levitate. So I'm gonna use Dragon Breath on that Octillery of yours. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, that's not enough damage as I thought, but fire enough. Oh, paralysis, nice. She's that earthquake, and of course it's gonna hurt like hell. Ooh, it didn't kill artillery, that's that's bad, but it did miss the ass, that's pretty good. And quad weakness on the Lyron. Good night. Actually that should be an Agaron, but who am I to judge? Lantern! Electric water type. Paralyzes and cannot move. That is actually good. Let's use another Earthquake. Let's use another Dragon Breath on Artillery so he can sit out his fourth fourth and final Pokemon. That Artillery is down. That Artillery is down. Explode. Okay, Explode is his last Pokemon. Fair enough. I'm gonna use Earthquake. That should kill the Lantern. I say sh critical hit. It killed the Wow, first. <laughs> it just got sent out within like three seconds, and it already dies. 
Well, I wasn't wrong about Lantern dying. Oh, well, damn, man. Seriously. Keep gaining them experience. Oh, Dr. Drew just got to level 52. That is beautiful right there. I'm surprised I lost. You really shouldn't be, to be honest. Next, the semifinals. I won't lose. You can't make me. Ophel. Is that short for Ophelia? I, I, I don't know. I, you know, at this point, I don't know. Marsh Tomp and Swello. Swell is actually kind of a threat here. Flying type. <laughs> oh, shit. Go, Hashel. And Diaz. I'm going to use... Mega Horn on the Marsh Tomp for stab and use Dragon Breath on Swello for stab. It used weak attack. This is going to hurt. Ooh, close call, Hashel. Close call. If this paralyzes it, I'm happy. I know it's not gonna kill, but if it paralyzes, I'm happy. It did. Oh, you <laughs> damn it, Diaz. Just damn. That marsh pump is gone. Good night. Now that swallow took a hit to its speed, it's now no longer gonna outspeed my hair across. Rockadont. Well, I'm not exactly worried, because I have a brick break. <laughs> now I use Dragon Breath to take down that Swellow. Now, because the Swellow is no longer the fastest Pokemon on the field, I can now kill with Dragon, Dragon Breath. Swellow is down for the count. Good night. Swellow was a threat to freaking Ashel for being quad weak against flying, unfortunately. Crocodont is down for the count as well. That was it? I thought he had four. I thought she had four. I wanted to win. I guess she only had three. Okay. Eh. I could have swore she had like four. Time to bell I. You don't. You don't give up, do you? I'll make you a tell for thwarting our, our shadow Pokemon plan. Cypher Admin I like to battle. Man, that... Really? Your best one already? Okay. I think he's confident. Let's see how confident. Of course, Air Cross cannot stand special attacks, so I think it's a freaking rain... If, if, if Manti gets a, it's a rain dance off... You might as well just say, I'm finished. But, we are going to stop that man type. Fine. It's fine. You can just waste your turn using Protect. If I get a paralysis, paralysis off of that man type, that man type, and it paralyzes, and it doesn't move, and it paralyzed, that I was counting on. Of course, Earthquake, no one's affected. Because Mantine can fly, and it's paralyzed. Good job. That means we get one turn, one more turn before he throws out a, a rain dance. Let's throw in a, let's throw in a crunch on that Mantine. He's toxic. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I mean, interesting. But that's guts. It has guts. I forgot it has guts. <laughs> oh, thank you for more damage, good sir. <laughs> Because that's really what I don't want you to do. To deal, deal more damage to yourself out of out of stupidity. Here, here. It's overkill, but take it. Three. This is basically 400 power earthquake. <laughs> that's a 400 power earthquake. That's going to hurt, especially suffering from poison. Right on. Well, this is going to be an inconvenience. Rain dance. I knew it was going to do that. However, I don't. However, the one thing I don't want to do is use rot and use brick break on that ride on, despite it being weak against fighting types. I'm actually going to use hyper beam on that man time, and I will use dragon rep on that ride on. Ride on does protect. Smart move. Because dragon rep, for some reason, seems to have a high chance of paralysis. I don't know why, but it seems to have one. 
have that, and that Mantine is down. Once again, it's over 300 power, freaking 300 power. Our um, Hyper Beam, that's pretty dangerous. Gyarados. Ah, his water flying type Pokemon that for some reason should. Which, to be honest, it actually it makes less sense than Mantine being flying. Fine, Mantine, I can probably see. Gyarados? Hell no. Let's actually use Dragon Breath on that Gyarados instead. Yep, Paralysis, as just as I suspected, is going to kick in. Of course, I have to recharge. Gyarados is paralyzed, cannot move. Damn. Earthquake. Not going to affect. Only going to affect Hashel. Despite the stab move, it's not very effective. And of course, it doesn't affect Gyarados because of that weird ass typing that it's a flying. It's considered a flying type. Do not ask me how it flies. Again, I don't understand it. I'm gonna use Hyper Beam on the Gyarados because it's the only thing I can see doing da any good damage against it. Because Earthquake will miss. Uh, what what else would do? Hell, he's only got like one more Pokemon left. Up uh, if I kill this Rhydon or Gyarados. And you're just gonna use speed. Well, it's useless against Gyarados to be honest. Use it on Gyarados. It's paralyzed. Okay, Hyper Beam. Just, just, just kill that Gyarados, please. I mean, oh come on now. You can survive of all things. Well, Ash was gonna die regardless at this point. Let's try Iron Tail again on that Rhydon. Come on, you got this. Oh, it hit. Will it kill? Of course not. It's got high defense. What am I thinking? Must recharge. Used Earthquake. It's not going to kill. I'm kidding. It will kill. Even if it did, it would still die by the poison. However, I have one more trick up my sleeve. And that is Ryo. I forgot. Ryo's electric attacks will not work. Oh, bugger off. And Gyarados actually has a high physical stat, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that Aperos is not fast. So I'm gonna th try and Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Gyarados. Okay, yes, it's not so fast. So I'm gonna use Dragon Breath on that, on right on. That kills it, that's nice, and I can unleash the Thunderbolt. Who DS to level 61? Nice. Let Ryo unleash a Thunderbolt on, and he's got Crobat as his last Pokemon, that's fine. Thunderbolt! And then of course, Gyarados is already being weak to Thunder anyways, fine. Electric type moves anyway. And we got Dr. Dirt getting level 53, good job. Uh, for doing nothing. We're going to use Thunderbolt, and just for the hell of it, we're going to throw in one Hyper Potion on the Rhino. So that way it can survive an attack. It's using Confuse Ray. On the wrong Pokemon! God, I swear sometimes these people are eating. I swear sometimes the people who pick, their pick the opponent move, pick the opponent attack, pick the attack the opponent are stupid. This will be probably be my longest video because I'm all, again I'm gonna go over an hour on this one. We did defeated Ein. Ugh, what unbelievable power! And eh, what an unbelievable power! Okay, anyway, enough of that. His last Pokemon's Manatrix. That's pretty nice. Manatrix, my bad, not my Manatrix. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, you're the champion. Please set cash price of le of eighteen thousand. And this TM, TMO2, which is Dragon Claw. Ooh, oh, got another email. Let's use that Dragon Claw, per se. Let's see, I want to know how powerful... I'm going to... I know how powerful it is, to be honest. And we're going to teach it to Diaz. Now, of course, uh, we're going to keep Dragon Dragon Breath. Why are we keeping Dragon Breath? Because of the Paralyze effect. We're going to we're gonna put on Dragon Claw for the 80 damage. We're getting rid of Screech. Considering most of the attacks that, um... Yeah, no, it was a special attack. Why not? 
Okay. Okay, with that in mind, let's go take a look at the email we're get, we were we were sent. It should be talking about the Shadow Shuckle, right? Yep. There's a rumor that Deep King has entered the not in the knockout attorney at the Deep Coliseum. Joseph, you've got ought to enter too and show up his highness. Oh, show up his highness now, still a shuckle. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'll enter. No, I forgot to swap out. Damn it. I forgot to swap. Damn it. Why did I forget to swap? Come on, bring it on, Nilon. Nilon. We're over and out. You know what? I can't exactly finish this. I'll save one last video after, after this. I mean, I got nothing. Again, there's there's points in my mind where I think to myself, am I drunk? But anyway, we got Hassel here, and we got Diaz here. And we're ready. We're ready to kick ass. Okay, three Pokemon, so... I don't know. I want to use a move that does... Do damage. Ground type moves don't do much. I don't even know if bug moves do good. I don't think it does. I think bug type Pokemon should be resistant to it. Uh, I chose second ball. Let's use a Mega Horn on that horsey. Then we'll use Dragon Call and then a Kata. Then a Kata. Now, of course, Dragon type moves are special. Despite it being a despite it being a physical attack, as it shows, it shows its claws glowing and all that. Actually, Hashel needs to level up to get that Eagle 200. Shove it! Mega Horn. Da -da 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 -da. That, that is good. Thank you, Horsey. Thank you. You are now down, Horsey. Uh, let's go for. I uh, guess Mega Horn would be the only move that would hit. Just in case it doesn't have. Uh, just in case it has, like, Levitate. Let's use Dragon Claw. And it killed. Nice. Shove it goes down. Okay, that's one trainer. That's one trainer down. We got two more to go before fighting, fighting the Deep King. I'll return when I'm ready for this. Okay, he probably would. I know I would if I was... If I, I know I would return if I wasn't when I'm ready. You... You beating me is unthinkable, impossible, and downright unreal, Lord. Lord? Lorge? Athlete Lorge, okay, fine. Ew! Kecleon and Mistrevious! Mistrevious, okay. Well, I got some new, I got some good news and some bad news for you. You're a normal type. You're about your Kecleon, anyway. You're a normal type. <laughs> also, Diaz knows Crunch. I'm not worried a damn bit. Okay, I'm slightly worried. But not much. I still got this. Yep, Kekulani goes down without much of a without much of a chance of attacking. Oh well. Good night, Kekleon. Cedra! Alright. A little bit more of a threat. Stream issue side beam, that's probably gonna hurt Hashel. Uh, not much, I run. We wow, not much. Aw, oh, damn it. But it is confused, unfortunately. Ooh, it does have one more Pokemon. Okay, that's a problem. Let's use Crunch on the Mistrevious so that way it won't get another psychic beam off. Good night, Mistrevious. Mistrevious. Good night. And there goes the pearls. Kadabra! Ooh. Ashel is confused. Mega Horde! Woohoo! Da 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 da. And didn't kill! Agility. Okay. So that means it just basically got faster than all my Pokemon that's on the field right now. But I'm gonna use. Mega Horn on the Kadabra. Use Crunch on that Seedra. Seedra use Waterfall on who? Flygon? Okay. Psybeam. On... Probably Ashel. Yep, correct. Ooh, I still live. That's nice. That Kingdra is not... That Seedra is not gonna last long anyway, so get the hell out of here. 
This will be our second trainer to take you down. And we got one more to go after this dude. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Your time to shine to kill that cadabra. God damn it. Uh, who do we send in next then? Uh, let's go for Zipper. Because it knows Shadow Ball, and Shadow Ball is a physical move. And yes, I know Zipper does not have good physical stats anyway, but neither does Kadabra. At this point, this is kind of a good thing. Yes, sir, both of my Pokemon are faster than it. It, it just one shot Kadabra. It was one level under, and it still one shot a Kadabra. No, it's two levels under Kadabra. Wow. And that was our third train that we fought, right? No. Wait, how that? Wait. My losing is illogical. It's incomprehensible. Who the hell are you? Watch. What? Who the hell are you? Are you mad? Okay, no. We got well, this is a lot. Hmm. What do we have here? You're quite the interesting battler. You have to have come a long way. Come along. Grons. Okay. Murkrow and Relicant. Okay. Relicant is a rock type, so I. I, I got nothing really. Relicant's a rock type. <laughs> hey, Pokemon, that's just. That's it right there. Just right there. That that right there is my thing right there. Relicant's a rock type. It's a. It's gonna be weak against fighting. I'm gonna use Dragon Breath on that Merc. Actually, on second thought, let me use Shadow Claw for 80 damage. I think Crunch does 80 damage, but considering Dragon Claw is a Dragon type move and I get stabbed from it, including another additional stab due to an additional attack bonus from uh, Dragon Claw, or Dragon Fang, I think I mean, the old item. Oh, this is gonna hurt if it's who I think it is, anyway. And it is. Well, if our Aircross is dead. Great! Well, I'm gonna sit out help. But... Oh, I thought, it was, I thought it was selected on Hellfire. My bad. Damn. Bite me. Relicant blow its head. Oh, it's going to get... Uh... Actually, Relicant's got some pretty good physical defense, but I don't know about it's special. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to use Flamethrower on the Murkrow, and I'm going to use Dragon Claw on Relicant. Because, again, Dragon Claw is because you're special, and the Dragon type moves are special in, in Gen 3. That Murkrow goes down. Level 66. Murkrow killed my hash hole. Damn it! Mawile! Level 66! Oh, cool. Yeah, just weakened me. Weakened my physical attack power. To be honest, Flygon's only good physical attack it has is Iron Tail, which, to be honest, it survived. How? Does it have, like, an invisible focus ban on or something? That's bullshit. Well, anyway, that model while it's going down. Playing Thor. It's special defense of her conquer really sucks. And bugs. It really does, I think. For a conquer. Like, I keep one shining these things with Flamethrower anyway, so. <laughs> yes! Blech. Well, if you're down to your last Pokemon, and your last Pokemon, basically, I'm assuming, it only has one HP anyway, so. <laughs> we can now battle the deep. King. No. <laughs> On to last match, which is going to be Deep King with his Shadow Shuckle. Irk, I'm shocked that I lost. Really? I'm not. Finals. Angle. <laughs> you, you're judging me. You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, DK Gang Angle. Alright, what's your Pokemon? Sableye Shininja. Ah, shit. Shininja has only one HP, but it can only. HP, what's the. That's a really big downside, right? Well, the upside is it has Wonder Guard, so it can only be killed by moves that's super effective against. So, moves like Mega Horn, Brick Break. Well, of course, Hyper Beam and Brick Break won't hit it because it's a ghost type. Why wouldn't it? Mega Horn would miss because it's not super effective. But it will hit Sableye. 
However, that does not, does not mean I can't kill Shininja with Diaz because it has a dart type move. Which means that thing's dead. And either way. Good night, Shininja. You had no chance of winning, really. Unless you were holding a focus ban. At that point, you would be very cheap. Because it already has one HP and it has and focus ban has the Ah shit! His his bay his main tormenting Pokemon. And that is Kingdra. Kingdra is a water dragon type. Has the weakness of a dragon. Uh, only has weakness of dragon at this point. Until Gen 6, it has no other weaknesses. It, other than dragon, it has no other weaknesses until Gen 6. Jarapurig! Alright, he sends out another Pokemon. Let's Earthquake him! <laughs> Actually, that's a bad idea if he sends out that Shuckle. Let's Mega Hornet. <laughs> and we'll use Dragon Claw and Kingdra. I'm pretty sure Kingdra is not faster than Diaz, despite being level 70. That's a pretty slow ass dragon. Da -da 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 -da. Trap Ray takes that double dam takes that triple damage. Alright. Seriously, I thought it was faster than I mean for a level 70 King to be slower than a level 60. Ugh. Okay, Skarmory. Oh, it's using Ice Beam, so that's a problem. It Yep, I kind of figured as much. Diaz was going to die right from the start. I am so sorry. Uh, I really don't want to do this. But it'll be funny if it happens. Oh, no, wait. It's a Steel-type shit. Hellfire, come on out. Show them what you made of. Actually, now I think about it, it's just just a living flamethrower flame monster. Flaming. A, a, a freaking volcano, if you think about it. Uh, let's use Megahorn because I don't want to lose my turn at using a Master Ball, using the Master Ball glitch to catch Shuckle. Let's use Flamethrower on that Skarmory. And Skarmory, if it even has an ability, I think key, Keen Eye would be the only ability it would be useful because it, it does it prevents lower it prevents accuracy from being lowered, which is pretty good. Shuckle, his last Pokemon, level 45. Oh, Rui, where the hell did you come from? Oh, there's a Shadow Pokemon. I mean, Mari, damn it. Mari, where the hell did you come from? You were back at the, at basically the entrance of the Coliseum itself. Where the hell did you come from? Well, regardless, let's catch that Shuckle. Again, I'm lazy, alright? Just ugh, deal with it. <laughs> And this, sh and this shuckle is ours. We got one more Pokemon to stag left. Again, I don't think I can do it in this video. M maybe I can. It's not really that hard to come across it, to be honest. As far as I know. As far as I looked up, anyway. Alright, we caught... I see you are skewed. And we caught his last Pokemon, which was a uh, shuckle. Alright, and again, Mari, where the hell did you come from? Were you in the stands shouting that? Well, congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously. Accept your cash prize of 9,984 Poké Dollars. We're looking forward to your next entry. Okay, we're done. Okay, with that in mind, let's actually swap out Diaz for Rat-O. Because why not? Do, 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 do. Let's go up. Start roaming around. Let's actually go to Fnac. I'm actually curious on how that place is doing now. On a serious note, I do wonder what how is it doing. So we'll probably stop there. If anything, to be honest. Well, anyway, we basically beaten all the Colosseums, except for Mount Battle, if you count that as a Colosseum, but I don't care about Mount Battle anyway. I 
And again, let's go to Finex City just to see how things are going, you know? Why not? Oh, and we got a message. What's going on here? What's with you? Dash the athlete. What's with me? What do you mean? I'm Dash from Finac. I'm just an ordinary citizen who happens to run around the town and frown. Um, so what gives you the right to have your Pokemon tap me? You don't deserve any respect as a trainer. Shame on you. Beg pardon? I, I got a question. What the hell are you talking What the hell? This is the dude running around the fountains, like, accusing me of attacking him with a what? With a Pokemon? What the hell? Are you high, sir? Yes, it was me who sent you that email. Why did you attack me? Are you doing it elsewhere? I don't do this at all. I'm going to say no. I won't believe anything you have to say. Fuck you, Dash. Seriously, what's going on? Please tell me you're not... Please tell me you're the only one who's an idiot. Oh my, I have a good... Oh. Oh, oh nothing terrible. Oh my god, it's Floyd and Truly. Oh god, you can rematch... I know you rematch one for the Makahita. But seriously, what the hell's going on? Shadow, what the hell? Am I being framed here? What did I do? I, I mean, like, well, I, no, I'm not kidding. We were told what I did. I, I attacked someone. What, what the hell? What now? Stangless hello. Seriously, what did I, what did I do? I, List completed. I have analyzed the Shadow Pokemon list and discovered this more. Ah, Togetic. The last. Actually, I think we're Togetic. Our last is the last one. Time for the news. According to authorities, there's a criminal. Oh, well. Oh, well, you get off nothing useful. As let's let's go back. What? We just exited and entered. We entered and exited. What now? Who is this? It's Bip from the other. Just I caught you on film. It's in an unbelievable scene. It's terrible and shocking. What's your problem? Are you attacking people with a shadow Togepi? A Togetic? No, I'm not attacking anyone with a shadow Togetic. What the hell? What? Oh. Uh... I, uh, what? What's going on? Is there something about this news? Something about the news? Something about this? Come on, is there anything about this on the news? Time for the news, of course. Still? You're still doing this shit? I'm confused as all hell. I'm all confused. Bit from the under. I, I don't get it. What the hell's going on? Then I have no reason to attack anyone. What the fuck's going on? Okay, we need to go talk to Bit. It or something. Let's first let's talk to the one named Donkey here. Here in Donkey here. What's going on? Oh hi guys. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. You don't give off shit. I'm actually going a little bit further with this. I'm pushing myself right here. Okay, let's go talk to Bit in the under. That was our initial plan anyway. But there was a trainer in the way. Why was he in the way? I don't know. Something's wrong. Something is severely wrong. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. I'm attacking people with a shadow toga tick? How? Somebody explain to me how am I doing that? 
Okay, it looks like I gotta go talk to Bit. He certainly seems to caught us on film. I don't know why. Okay, who was Bit again? Was he this one? The separate. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hello. You're net. Guess if you've done it. Yeah, I have, but I don't know what the hell's going on. Bit! Where are you, Bit? I am... I am lost. I was shocked when I heard heard word on the street, but Joseph, I know it wasn't you. I believe in you. So what the hell is going on? I am so confused right now. Well, I'm, 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 I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it a bit. Well, uh, as I'm pushing it a little bit here, I'm going to have to stop. Well, it turns out we have an imposter among us. Imposter is attacking people with a shadow togetic. So with that, I'll leave you to the next video being the final. I know video because that's going to be the last show of Pokemon we're going to be going to snag from, I guess, our evil self? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I will see you all in the next video. See you all in another video to be precise. Or the finale. Regardless, I will see you all later.